I'm going to show you the best products to buy from PetSmart for your corn snake. Now, I think it's apt to start this video with a starter kit. The Zoomed Repti Habitat Snake Kit is a 20 gallon tank measuring 30 inches by 12 by 12. It comes with a Reptitherm under tank heater, a mini dome fixture and a 100 watt daytime blue heat bulb, an 8 quart bag of aspen bedding, a medium habit hut, a plastic plant, a water dish, some water conditioner and a book. They have supplied you with an under tank heater which is nice but they haven't supplied you a way of controlling that safely. So what I would do is buy the RepliTemp thermometer from Zoomed from PetSmart and that will allow you to control the temperatures of your under tank heater safely. Now blue is a really weird thing for a bulb but it will give you that infrared that allows the corn snake to bask appropriately like it is sunshine. 100 watts is very intense for that small of a tank so if you find that temperatures get way too hot you can bring that back down to like a 50 watt. You want your daytime ambient air temperatures to be anywhere from 70 to 79 Fahrenheit and then you're basking surface temperature underneath the heat bulb and your UTH anywhere for sort of like 80 to 89. Then at night time when all the lights go off, you can allow those temperatures to go down into the low 60s, no problem. I would take the analog thermometer and stick that on the end of the glass that's not where all the heating and lighting is. So you don't get light and heat upon the thermometer, raising it up by heating the actual thermometer above what the actual air temperature is, because that will give you a false reading. So if you put that in the shade, that will be an actual accurate reflection of what the ambient air temperature is in that tank and most probably just the room as well. So that's great, they give you that to measure air temperature but they give you nothing to measure the basking surface temperature. Well luckily you can go pick up the Zoomed RepliTemp digital infrared thermometer from PetSmart. Now it's a mouthful to say but it's actually just a temperature gun. So point and shoot at a surface and that will tell you the temperature of the surface you're pointing at. Use both of these tools to safely monitor the temperatures of your corn snakes tank. Now the absence of UV in this kit is so painful for corn snakes. Corn snakes should 100% have UV at this point in time. It's 2024, not 2004. Corn snakes are one of the few things that we are certain of that should have UV. They've had studies done on them where they gave them UV and their blood levels of vitamin D rose by over 200%. It's so important for a corn snake's health and it would be remiss of us to actually not give it to them. So what I would do is add the Reptisun 10.0 T8 and its fixture onto the same size as your heat lamp on top of your mesh so you have a little sunshine patch and your little shaded patch. So just like in nature they can move into the sun or move into the shade. Now the aspen bedding is absolutely fine for corn snakes. Actually I do like aspen bedding for corn snakes. It really holds the tunnels that they dig and it's a really good soft medium for them to be in. Obviously this is a very unnatural, unsoil like substrate so naturally it doesn't hold humidity in the lower layers for a humid microclimate. So what you need to do is give them a humid hide. Now that can be any sort of like commercial hide with an entrance hole that you stuff some moist sphagnum moss into or it can be a tub that you've made that you've cut a hole into. Either way, whatever you do, as long as they have a high humidity hide they can use, especially at times of shedding, that'd be really important for your corn snake. And then what that does is it makes up for the lack of that in the substrate. The decor is absolutely fine for them if you want to use that. There's just not enough of it whatsoever. The corn snakes need a lot of clutter to make them feel secure and allow them to act like confidently. In a study of captive corn snakes, researchers found that the corn snakes were actually out and visible more often and climbed more when they were given a more complex and cluttered environment compared to a barren and open looking one. So it's so important to pack, 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 pack that tank full of decorations and clutter that up for your corn snakes. Overall, I'd say this kit was okay on getting you started with a corn snake. It's very old in terms of like snakes don't need UV and all this stuff. Again, like I said, it's 2024, not 2004, but there you go. With some modifications, it can work really well up into adult and then we'd start running into problems. Corn snakes can get up to like sort of five, five and a half feet of the really big individual, but most sort of like sit around sort of like four feet or 48 inches in total length making this tank far too small for an adult corn snake. Not only do snakes need the ability to stretch up their spines fully in an enclosure, but corn snakes are actually a really active species and they need that room to actually explore and roam around. For adults, I'd actually recommend the 48 inch Zilla Quick Build Terrarium. 
that allows them to get up to sort of four foot and be able to fully stretch out on the enclosure. The enclosure is 48 by 18 inches by 18 inches. You can take your heating and lighting and just transfer that straight over onto the new tank, no problem. Aspen shavings, the lot. You might want to buy a few more like decorations because obviously everything that packed out this tiny tank is going to be spread out on a bigger tank. So you're going to want more to really pack that in. But for the most part, you'll be absolutely fine. Your corn snake will obviously outgrow its humid hide and you can upgrade that with size and time. But just transfer the oil across and you're pretty much golden. Give them a really deep layer of substrate, like four inches. Because what I've done is I've calculated the amount of UV you get at what distance through that mesh. So if you give them four inches of substrate and the ability to climb as well, they'll get good levels of UV that I've calculated by using the lamp that I recommended. These animals can live up to 30 years, so let's give them space and let's give them the enclosures they truly deserve. That being said, if your corn snake gets bigger than four foot, you're going to want to upgrade. These enclosures behind me are seven foot. They're made by custom reptile habitats. So you're going to want to go with someone like them in the long run if you get a particularly big corn snake. I have many other guides on how to look after reptiles on this channel. So subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next video.